Hi guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about how do you deal with static and non-static variable inside the main method. How do you use, how do you consume non-static and static variable inside the main method? How do you deal with static and non-static methods? I have already explained in my previous video. In this video, I'm going to explain how do you deal with static and non-static variable inside the main method so let's get started so if you see this program i have read i have given the class name as fourth and uh, outside my main method i have created two variables one is static another one is non-static static variable is called as static int a equals 10 that is integer a equals 10 and non-static variable is called as b equals double b equals 0 0.01 and if you see this program i have created two methods other than my main method that is static void diff which is called as my static method and void term which is my non-static method what ex exactly i'm trying to do in my main method so in my main method i want to print first we love software testing after that, I am calling my static method. If you remember in my previous video, I have said that if you want to call any static method inside your main method, you just need to call its method name. So if you see this, my if you see this static void diff, which is my static method, is its method name is called as diff, D E A F. So if you call this you just need to call its method name if you call it whatever things are happening inside the inside that diff method will get executed after that what i'm doing i'm creating an object i'm creating an object to call the non static method which is called as dump this is my non static method i have created an object fourth m1 is equal to new fourth and then using its reference variable i am calling non-static method which is my new void dump i'm calling it if you call it what will happen it will print you are dumb because that's what i'm trying to do in that method after that what i'm exactly trying to do i am printing system dot out dot print ln and then inside that i am printing printing the value of a guys if you see my variable a it is static and guys let me tell you one more thing when you are calling any static variable inside your static method you need not create any object for that you can directly call it how do you call it if you are if you want to print it you just need to write it inside your system dot out dot print ln a it will print the value of a automatically because your a is static now let's talk about how do you call your non-static variable which is double b equals 0 0.01 so for that if you guys have seen here i have created an object already and its reference variable is m1 using that reference variable m1 i had already called my dumb method name dumb method name is nothing but my non-static method name and after that with the same variable that is m1 i am calling non-static variable m1.b the reason i have written m1.b because i want to print the value of b which is 0 0.01 so just because it is non-static and if i have to print it inside my static method inside my main method i need to write it using my reference variable dot non-static variable so if you run this program if you run this program to run this program first you need to go to you go to the location where the file is saved one compilation is done you need to interpret it using java fourth if you do that if you see your main method the first sentence you had written is system dot out dot print and we love software testing which you got here and then you are calling diff method inside diff method what is there you are diff so you got it you are diff after that what you are trying to do you are calling your non-static method what non-static method is doing it is printing you are dumb so it you it got printed 
after that what are you trying to do you are printing the value of a so what is the value of a it is 10 so you got 10 and after that what are you doing you are trying to print the value of b so you got it so this is how you deal with static and non-static variable before i close this video let me tell you one more thing whenever you have static methods or non-static method to call static method inside your main method you can directly call it there is no need to create an object just like your methods but when you are dealing with non-static variable you need to create an object with its reference variable you can call non-static variable like how i have created in this video and one more thing guys if you see the value of b in the above i have created as 0 0.09 so it doesn't mean that you cannot change the value since i have written the value of b as 0 0.01 and before printing it you can call it as value of b you can change the value to 80 when you when you execute this it you will get the answer as 80 so i mean these are all things also you can do it so you got 80.0 the reason you got value as 80.0 because you have given uh, the data type for B as double. So that's why you got is as 80.0. So at starting, when you created the variable, you had given the value of B as 0 0.01. But inside your main method, before actually printing it, you had given, you had changed the value from 0 0.01 to 80. So you got the answer as 80. So I hope this video was useful. If you have, give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to my channel, Software Testing by MKT, and list out all your doubts in the comment section. I will be clearing all your doubts. Guys, if you want to reach to me out, I have added my Quora account, Twitter account, Gmail account in the link description. Whatever doubt you have, you can always reach to me out personally using all those three formats. If you have any questions, list out in the comment section. Till then, take care. Watch all the videos of Software Testing by MKT. And please support me, motivate me to do more. All the best.